I'm Miranda Valentine, editor of the Lifestyle Blog, Everything Sounds Better in French, and today I'm going to show you how to make roasted thyme potatoes. Such a tasty side dish and very, very simple to do. I have our ingredients all laid out here. Um, I have two russet potatoes that have already been washed, and I am leaving the peels on. I have two tablespoons of olive oil. Anytime you're roasting a potato, if you have like, you know, a large or medium sized potato, a good rule of thumb is usually one tablespoon of olive oil per potato. Then I have two tablespoons of fresh chopped thyme, so delicious. I have half of a teaspoon of kosher salt and I have a quarter of a teaspoon of um, freshly ground pepper. So I also, as you'll see, have a baking sheet laid out here and it's covered in foil. My oven is preheating at 425 degrees, so when that's all set, we're ready to start. So let's begin by cutting our potatoes. So depending upon the size that you um, cut them in, like if they're in really, really small pieces, which I'll do right now to show you, almost like one inch little chunks, they're gonna cook really, really quickly, obviously, much more quickly than if you had larger chunks, obviously. So your cooking time will vary, but if you do it in little pieces like I'm about to do, this will take about 30 to 35 minutes um, at a 425 degree oven. But everybody's oven's a little bit different, so you always just wanna kinda be checking in. Um, so let's just cut this to these nice little chunks. Scooch it off to the side. Again, lengthwise. And then, you know, depending upon, you know, what this is for, if you just want little itty bitty nibbles, you know, cut them into even smaller pieces, um, or you could do nice big chunks. The cooking method will remain the same. So once we have these all nice and chunked, you will be able to mix them with the olive oil and the thyme and the salt and pepper. And I'm telling you, it is bound to be a crowd pleaser. So let's scooch those to the side. And into this mixing bowl, we are going to add the olive oil, about half the thyme, the salt, and the pepper. Now, you could certainly lay these out and kind of toss them on the baking dish. I just find that doing it in a bowl really helps to make sure everything is nice and easily coated. Um, and because you will not be covering this, this will be baking uncovered, um, you don't want you know individual pieces to dry out, and if they're not nicely coated with olive oil, they may do that. So we don't want that to happen. So let's give a nice toss, 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 toss. Beautiful. Now, when I'm cooking with an herb with potatoes, I really like the potatoes to have the flavor of that. Um, so that's why I'm using two tablespoons. But if you just want a tiny hint of something, you could certainly you know, reduce the amount. But I think that if you're gonna do it, you might as well go for it. And also, as you'll notice, um, quite a bit is going to get stuck at the bottom of this bowl. So I just think it gives every little potato piece a nice shot of getting deliciously coated with thyme. Okay, so now we're ready just to spread this out. And you know, I've used foil um, on this baking sheet just because it makes cleanup a breeze. So you can certainly omit that part, that's not necessary. Um, and I'm just going to make sure that they're not piled on each other. We don't want to crowd it this way it will be able to you know, cook more quickly if everything's piled like this. Obviously it's not going to, to cook as evenly or quickly. So we're gonna pop it into our oven now. And probably about you know, 15, 20 minutes in, I'm gonna give it a nice stir so the parts at the bottom that are getting nice and brown and crispy can have a chance to flip over and the other little guy will have a chance to get a little bit crispy. Um, again, depending upon the size that you cut them into, it will take anywhere between 30 to 45 minutes at a 425 degree oven um, to get nice and roasted delicious. So we're gonna come back at that time and see how we're doing. Okay, so these took about 32 minutes because they were in such little pieces, they cooked pretty, pretty quickly. Um, I stirred them halfway through. You, you notice one side is gonna be a little bit kind of darker than the other. You don't want them both to be like super, super crunchy. Um, absolutely delicious, so easy, and the thyme just gives it that nice, wonderful, extra little kick of flavor. Thyme and potato matches so perfectly together. How easy was that? There you go, that is how you make roasted potatoes with thyme. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And if there's something that you want to learn how to make, send me an email at requests at mahalo.com. And don't forget to check out our other great videos.